since the last Q&A went over so well, I decided I was going to do these a little more often. So uh, here is the second Q&A. I'm going to do them every once in a while, and what I'm going to do is limit them to just 10 questions. Let's see what we got. Name one film that you thought was way too long. <laughs> That's going to be the thin red line. Uh, that movie was about 15 hours too long. Are there any movies that you think actually need a remake? Remakes are a funny thing. There are a lot of movies out there that have good ideas, but they've just failed in execution. Uh, either they didn't have a big enough budget, or things just fell apart because of uh, production nonsense. So those are usually the ones I kind of default to, that uh, I think they uh, they need a remake. Uh, something like Cool World, it was kind of being made as like an R-rated Roger Rabbit. And unfortunately, because of inner squabblings and whatnot between the director and the production, uh, they kept fighting it back and forth, and the director wanted to make it more for adults, and the producers wanted to make it more family-friendly, uh, or at least not as dirty. So we ended up with a movie that had no real identity. There were moments where it felt like they were pushing things, and other times where they felt like they were uh, holding things back. It's a shame because there was a lot of uh, effort that went in with the animators, and the whole thing is just this disjointed mess. So that's something that I definitely think uh, needs another shot. I know they're talking about doing a uh, another Tomb Raider, uh, kind of rebooting the franchise. I think that definitely needs it because um, I thought that uh, Angelina Jolie did a great job as uh, Lara Croft, but the movies were just... They weren't bad, they just weren't as good as they should have been. Blood Rain 2 is one of my all-time favorite video games, and the movies are just a mess, because uh, they're all Uwe Boll productions, and we all know what he does with video game movies. So they need to get the Blood Rain license the hell away from him, and actually make good movies, and make a third freaking Blood Rain game. I really think that the uh, Crap Factory movies that he's put out are a large part of why we never got a third Blood Rain game. Uh, there's more, but uh, those are the only ones I can think of off the top of my head. What films do you find genuinely upsetting or disturbing? What comes to mind is the uh, German movie uh, called Necromantic. I actually had seen this a long time ago, and then I watched it again maybe a year or so ago, and I wanted to uh, do a uh, episode on it because it's a messed up movie. It's a, it's a guy who works for a hospital, and they pick up bodies, uh, people that have been killed in car accidents, people that... Uh, you know, uh, were in accidents where they died, and uh, he brings a corpse home for his girlfriend uh, so that they could get in a three-way with the corpse. So she's having sex with him, she's having sex with the corpse, and the funny thing is, that's not the disturbing part, of, for me at least. It's, there, it's a weird-ass movie, and the way that they do the sex scene with the corpse, it's funny because it's so awkward and uncomfortable and uh but like i said that's not what i find disturbing about it the disturbing part in it is maybe 45 minutes into the film there's a character in the movie that uh, kills and skins a rabbit and they kill it and skin it for real the thing is I know I've mentioned it before about how uh, I don't like uh, animal violence in movies. That always kind of gets my goat. But I always understand that it's fake animal violence. Like in the case of The Fly 2, you know, they didn't really kill a dog. It was movie magic, and then they had the uh, animatronic uh, mutant dog to tug on the heartstrings later in the film. But in this, they actually killed and skinned a rabbit. Uh, much like how... Um, Cannibal Holocaust, how they kill the turtle and all that stuff. I don't think that uh, an animal should be killed on film for, for a movie, for entertainment. That just, that bothers me. And it really, it ruined my night because I was watching the movie and remembering all these goofy little moments about it and laughing and thinking about how it was going to be a really fun episode. And then I get to the point where this guy kills the rabbit and then skins it. And then to make matters worse, later in the film, they show the scene again. And I just, I can't deal. So that really, really bugs me. How do you feel about the casting in the Resident Evil movie franchise, uh, mainly the established characters from the game series? Uh, I've been happy with the casting overall. Uh, I think Mila is a great protagonist, and uh, I like what they've done to make the movies similar but different from the games. 
Uh, I thought they've done a good job of finding characters that kind of look like their counterparts and just keeping it, like I said, you know, similar but different. Joel or Mike, uh, this is in regards to Mystery Science Theater 3000, uh, either the original host Joel or Mike, who was the head writer who took over after uh, Joel left. While I, like a lot of people, got into Mystery Science Theater during the Joel years, I've always been partial to Mike. I love the stuff that Joel does, but I just, I've enjoyed the Mike years more. During all your request months, you have a handful of movies that you won't do. Why? Uh, For something like Battlefield Earth, I won't do it because it's fucking terrible. Favorite full moon movie? I've always been partial to bad channels. Ever thought of doing a show that focuses on genuinely horrible movies that don't have any sort of redeeming value? No. I've actually had a lot of people ask me this, and isn't there already like a million channels out there that do exactly this? There's enough people that are just taking movies and just uh, eviscerating them. If I did that, I probably would have quit doing this years ago because I don't like watching genuinely bad movies over and over again. I like uh, taking stuff that I enjoy and and watching it over and over again and talking about why uh, something is good instead of just bitching and complaining about why something is bad. Why aren't you uploading videos to Blip anymore? Blip hasn't updated in like a year, probably longer than a year at this point. Uh, It's only a matter of time before Maker shuts the site down for good. First of all, it takes forever to upload anything to there. I'll get a video that'll upload to YouTube in like 10 minutes, and uploading it to Blip takes the same video, and it takes like an hour. And what I was doing originally, I would upload it to Blip first, and then Blip had a thing where you could take it from there and then send it to YouTube. A while ago, that function stopped working, so I'd have to upload it to Blip and upload it to YouTube. And it was just annoying because it was another step, it was another thing to do. Especially when uh, I would finish an episode really late and I'd want to go to sleep. And then I'd be like, oh, okay, I have to now upload this to Blip and it's taking a freaking hour. The honest truth is I get a fraction of the traffic on Blip that I get on YouTube. So eventually Blip, unfortunately, is going to go away. Uh, Ever since they've got bought by Maker, they've just slowly but been shutting the site down. Don't be too surprised if uh, one day you go there and it just ceases to exist. Have you ever thought of doing a Good Bad Flicks online store for t-shirts, stickers, etc.? Yeah, I have. I have for a long time. I'm working with uh, someone uh, to do the designs because I suck. I'm good at talking, and I'm good at editing video, but I am not really an artist. So my designs that I had come up with for t-shirts and all that kind of stuff is just awful. So uh, I'm, I've am i gotten with um, some people who are artists, and we're working on uh, some designs. I'd like to do that, because I know people have been bugging me forever for t-shirts, So yeah, this year, hopefully. Uh, So like I said, I'll do more of these in the future. So if I didn't answer your question this time, don't worry. I might do it sometime down the road. Oh, and uh, here's a bonus question for you. Where's your top 10 of 2014? I'm working on it, I promise. I am so behind on 2014 movies. For those of you who don't know, uh, me and my wife had our first child last year. And uh, we had him in July. And consequently, uh, everything after July uh, has kind of been a blur. So I missed all of those movies. So I've been playing catch up and uh, it's been uh, a slow process. I was hoping to have the top 10 of 2014 out in April, but that's not looking like it's going to happen. So maybe May? Uh, You guys have waited this long. Eh, what's another month and a half? Yeah, anyway, that's all these questions. I'll see you next time.